when 2.2 just dropped and of course I had to make a Runpod template for it. So the videos you're seeing on the screen right now were generated using the text to video model. While I do think that the motion is not the best, the quality is definitely much, much better than the previous model. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen in the next few days in terms of LoRa's and optimizations. So to deploy the model, let's head over to RunPod by clicking the link in the description below. This should take you right to the deploy screen where you can select the GPU that you will be using. I like to go with the H100, but I do recommend uh, to go with uh, a GPU that has at least 48 gigabytes of VRAM. So just choose whatever fits your budget. So I'm going to go with the H100. And before you deploy, make sure that you click on Edit Template, expand the Environment Variables tab, and make sure that the environment variable called Download WAN 2.2 is set to True, and click Set Overrides once you're done. Scroll all the way down and click Deploy on Demand. Once that's done, click on My Pod, and you should see that the pod starts deploying. I already have a pod deployed, so I'm going to terminate this one. And once you see that the pod is running, expand the logs and wait for it to say ConfigUI is up. Once, once that's done, click Connect and connect to ConfigUI. Now the screen that you, that you see will look a little bit different than this one. You should probably see a promotional screen. Just simply click the X on the top right to close it and then click on the left side on the folder icon. This is the workflows, uh, the workflows folder and you see that you have two subfolders. You have workflows for WAN 2.1 and for WAN 2.2. And today we're going to focus on 2.2. So there are two workflows. You got image to video and text to video. I'm going to focus on text to video, but they work exactly the same. So if you've used any of my workflows before, you should be familiar with them. They are linear and they go from the left to the right. So let's start from the leftmost side. Now, if you have a little bit of familiarity with WAN, you should see immediately that uh, it's a bit different. They're using two diffusion models this time. I will elaborate on that in a second. Uh, make sure that your clip VAE and upscaler of choice are loaded. Moving on to the right side, you can type your prompts right here. Along with a negative prompt, select the video size and length. Now, an important thing to understand is that when 2.2 uh, sam samples videos at 24 FPS, this means that if previously with WAN 2.1 at 16 FPS, you had to sample 81 frames in order to get a five second video. With WAN 2.2, you had to sample 121 frames in order to get a five second video. Next up, you have to se select your steps. This must be an even number because the steps are distributed evenly between two samplers. And finally, you've got the upscale factor right here. I do recommend to not change the setting because the quality difference is negligible and the time to sample um, increases drastically when you change this value. Now we got two samplers right here. I do recommend that the CFG sample, sampler and schedule of values will be the same across the two samplers. However, I do not know currently what are the best settings to use for anime, realistic purposes or whatever. We're going to um, learn together and see what are the best settings? I'm going to update uh, on my Discord server once I have some more information. So for now, I like to go with 3.5 and Euler Simple for the sampler and scheduler. And finally, we got some upscaling and frame interpolation nodes that will give us the video at 60 FPS. Now, I do want to elaborate on the two diffusion models. For some reason, they decided to have a high noise model and a low noise model. They are basically splitting the sigmas in the generation. I really don't know the technicalities behind it. And to be frank, I don't really care. Um, if you want to, you can read online, ask ChatGPT, do whatever you want. Um, just make sure that you have the high noise model and the low noise model if you're making your own workflow and that the high noise model is used in the first sampler and the low noise model is used in the second sampler. This is it, guys. It's very similar to my other one workflows. The image to video workflows work almost identical looks exactly uh, the same with one change is that the input image you have to load an input image of course thank you very much for watching if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me on discord or on patreon whatever works for you uh click the like button subscribe and do all that uh, youtube mumbo jumbo thank you very much for watching take care wish you a pleasant day goodbye